next guest has been seen on One Tree Hill and I, Zombie. He is now making his Hallmark Channel debut in Love in Store, which is premiering this Saturday night. We are definitely not going to miss this one. Welcome to our home, Robert Buckley. Welcome. We're so excited to have you here, Robert. It's good to be here. Your first time. It is. Yes, but, but we have a bit of a connection so from back in the past. So far, <laughs> yeah, so good. We'll let you know. Okay. Okay, you feeling better? Yeah, just okay. let me know if it goes off. The all right, so far you're doing <laughs> great. Let's talk about Love in Store. This movie's so cute. Ken and I have been looking at all the so clips. Cute. We can't wait to see it. So your character um, sells manly products mm -hmm. on a shopping from home channel. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, and given your Instagram feed, I kind of suspect you were born to play this role because I did a little perusing on Instagram and found quite a few photos of you in very manly situations. Debbie, did you take a deep dive down my I did, I did, yeah, Busted. and it was a fun one. <laughs> um, yes, there are quite a few posts, oh, there you go, um, where it would appear I'm a rugged, outdoorsy man. I mean, you're brawny. The brawny is like, like hilarious. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, in a lot of ways you could say I've been preparing for this role my whole life. Sure. At least according to Instagram. Do you do archery for real? No, I did archery once. I was terrible at it. Oh, and you took a picture. You but took I a looked picture. great in that photo, right? So, what about that fish? That was a big fish. That one I caught. Nice. For real, I caught that fish. Wow. Released Impressive. it. But I caught it. That's lovely. Yep. So now in the movie, you're actually, with all of these manly skills, you're mm -hmm. sort of in the running for like the top hosting mm -hmm. gig mm -hmm. on Shopping From Home. Yeah. Right? How's that going? Well, uh, it's myself and uh, Terry, who is played by Alexander Breckenridge, are both sort of in the running for this, both very determined, we both want it. And I mean, it's, it's a mixed bag, because she's, uh, she's for real competition. Mm. No, but I, I think you kind of like her a little bit, don't you? Maybe. Yeah, there yeah. was something that happened over a toaster oven. Sparks may or may not have started to fly. Not when? from the toaster oven. Not from the toaster oven, which was the interesting <laughs> thing. I mean, but but when a toaster oven is involved, are there not sparks? Very right. good point. Very, Very good romantic. Point. If it's a good device. toaster oven, there will not be sparks. <laughs> Thank or there you. may be a lawsuit. Well, we'll, yes. we'll let the viewers at home decide. We actually have a clip of that. It's convection, yes. But wait, there's more. It's also a toaster roaster air fryer. Look at that crispy bacon. Mmm. It's hot. That is hot. Maybe you live in a small space, or maybe you just need a second oven. But Terry, my favorite part here is the speed. All right, you know, if I come home from a long day of work, I have my sister and nephew over, and I just want to cook a, a quick meal. You cook. Imagine that, huh. yeah. See, and a quicker cook time means less time spent over the stove and more time with my loved ones. And uh, isn't that what it's all about? I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you cook. Well, you'll have to come by sometime. What about you, Terry? You cook? No, actually, I'm kind of a mess in the kitchen. Really? So the great Terry Carpenter isn't perfect? Far from it, David. Let's go ahead and take a caller. See? Sparks and not from the toaster oven. Sparks. It's really a sweet movie. It's a fun one. It's a cute movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now, you've never actually appeared on a home uh, shopping channel, mm -mm. but you have had many successful auditions in your long storied career as an actor where you've had to pitch yourself. Because if anyone's ever gotten an audition, you know you're out right. there in front of the casting directors and the yeah. producers, and you're pitching yourself as if you're a product. And most of them have gone very well. A few have gone they, quite well. Yeah, they have. They bought the product. Yes. However, but others? There was one in particular that you must be kicking yourself mm -hmm. about, Robert. Would you like to tell everyone about the superhero well, gone it was, wrong? Well, it was for this little independent film called Thor. Mm. Mm, right, uh, yeah. I don't know if it go. ever even was made or if it did well or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went in for Thor, and mind you, I'm a comic book fan. I don't know what got into me this day, but I apparently was... I wanted to look cool, so I was feeling insecure. And it's the kind of audition where like, you have to commit. It's where it's like some th very theatric scene where it's like, with this hammer, I vanquish the... And I just wasn't feeling it. And again, you gotta go all in or just don't do it. And I went 40%, oh, which you can't do. No. And I actually walked in and I told the cat, and like the casting director had two associates with her who were like my age. So I was like, oh no, I really don't wanna, I don't wanna like not look cool in front of my peers. Again, blowing it before I've started. And I actually said, hey, for the second scene, I'm not gonna like fight the invisible guys with the hammer. I'm just gonna do the dialogue. And I watched the casting director's face like, okay. okay. <laughs> and then me being like, do you, do you want to turn the camera on or when sh is it already oh, going? It's like, no. okay, just, yeah. It's like the whole thing with the superhero with the big hammer, I'm just not gonna do the hammer part. Yeah, That's you know what, what your movie's said. about? 
Uh, not so much. What were you thinking? <laughs> There's a lesson I here. Wasn't. There's a lesson here, and the lesson is. Do what they tell you. Yes. <laughs> commit, commit. Yeah. But but you have other skills. Wow. You're not a you're not a hammer yielder yet. Yet yet. yet. You're Thor, Thor two. two. Thor. <laughs> well, by this point, Thor five. Thor five. There you sorry. Go. Um, you have other skills, other talents. Maybe not so physical. Um, escape I? rooms. Oh yes. This is so cool. I know. I love it. It was a lot of fun to shoot. I am not so good at the escape room in the film, which is very contrary to real life. Oh. I happen to be quite proficient at escape rooms. Oh, interesting. But here, what you're seeing is me, not in my element. Oh. David well, Crabtree, not an escape room guy. So you're having to go against what is your natural ability to, to this, get yourself out of the escape This is really room. flexing my acting chops here. I see. But you were in love, so you get all discombobulated. Right. That's exactly right. <laughs> it was all those sparks we were talking about. <laughs> so are you really actually very good at escape rooms and you're very competitive, I understand. That's the key word. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't say I'm so much as good as I am Competitive. Okay. I you wouldn't know anything about I have that. no idea. We're talking. No, I understand when it comes to being competitive in games. Suddenly, the game is no fun for anyone else. Yes. Because to oh. to you and I, it is. Yeah. It's reality. He will never play Scrabble yeah. with me again. <laughs> How do you get good at, at escape rooms? Ah. Uh... You're right, maybe I'm not good. Maybe I'm just very competitive. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, like all of my game nights end with me being like, that was a great time, but I was anxious the entire time. Like the stakes always feel high, and they shouldn't because there's absolutely zero stakes. Yeah. But yeah, I guess I just like them. Right, yeah. except for the one where you couldn't get out of the escape room in Paris. That was brutal. What yeah, happened? I was doing it with nine people who didn't speak a word of English. You speak I, French? No, sir. Okay. So it <laughs> was a lot of terrible, exaggerated. It's it's that like obnoxious tourist thing where like they don't know my English. So instead, I'm like, could it be a clue somewhere? <laughs> and they're like, we're 40 years old. Don't talk to us like we're children. Also, that doesn't help oh us God. at all. Wait, were you also talking louder? Yeah, of course. Louder in a French that, accent, yeah. which doesn't it actually doesn't help. Doesn't help though. at all. But you should have. They should have understood because the most famous pan. Pantomime is Marcel Marceau, and he's he is French. French. He is French. In their defense, I don't think I'm talented at pantomime, though. Whereas I believe uh, Mar Marcel Marceau probably a bit better. Probably. It's amazing. I'd like to invite everyone to be sure to watch Love in Store <laughs> Saturday, February 22nd at 9, 8 Central on Hallmark Channel. And you can also keep up with all of our upcoming movie premieres on our Hallmark Movie Checklist app, where you can add movies to your watch list. Are you listening, Robert? Oh, yeah. You can view trailers and so much more. It is free, by the way, on iOS and Android. Say it devices. like I don't already have the app. Oh, boy. Oh, good exactly. point. He's already got his list going. Thank, Thank you so you, much Robert. for coming. <laughs>